Good morning. Um, I guess I am Tennille Evans, CTU organizer. I am a mother of a teenage daughter who also went to Chicago Public Schools, and I am the daughter of a, a CPS employee. Um, also, she was the manager at Chicago Public Schools. So I have history within the Chicago Public School System. I was a former teacher assistant for over 19 years. And so I have seen and I have been in the trenches of how um, just disparity has come across the west side and the south side and the north side of Chicago. Our PSRPs are the front line of defense in our schools. Our PSRPs are the teacher assistants, they are the school clerks. Um, they work seven hour days, but yet they are more than just that teacher assistant. They give medicine to the students. They have to be that counselor sometimes. They have to be that nurse that sometimes. They have to be a parent sometimes. Also a social worker. The, the violence here in Chicago have just, just is at a high rise right now where you, have, you need these counselors. We need social workers. We need wraparound services. But yet the mayor still refused to put all this in writing. Yet they still put the burdens and the jobs and the extra duties on our PSRPs, which is not right. We're sick and we're tired of it. We're saying enough is enough. They have the money to a lot. They have the money to apply these resources in the school, but yet they will put it on our PSRPs. Yet they will say, you continue to do the work, you continue to do the work, while we continue to invest the money down in Lincoln Yards, or we continue to invest the money in high rises. Yet, we got to do the job. Enough is enough. We're tired of doing the work when you have the money to invest in our schools. Uh, we're tired of when, we, when will we reach our American dream. You tell us to go back to school, we go back to school for a bachelor's degree. You tell us to go back to school, we go back to school for a master's degree. When is enough? So then we buy houses, then you want to take the house. Then we buy, try to buy a car, you got to take the car because we live in check the check. And enough is enough. You have the money to apply where you want it to apply. We should be sick and tired of driving downtown and watching the luxury high rises. We should be sick and tired of driving around the city of Chicago and be able to see the next casino. But when will we be able to feel comfortable? When will we as a people be able to say, oh, I do have a dream, and I am a, a, a fulfilling that dream without these role obstacles, without these obstacles that the mayor insists, without these obstacles, the rich people tax and tax and tax. We got grocery tax, we got cigarette tax, we got bag tax, we got liquor tax, we got hotel tax, we tax, 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 tax. Enough is enough. And so we're here today to say, no, we're not asking for much, but we're asking for survival here. Some of our parents and teachers, are, are parents and uh, PSRPs, they, they students qualify for free lunch. Reduce, so this is probably wages. You should not have to work 30 years. 30 years in any profession and can't make it and have to go to another job to see all the rich downtown with everything, the three billions invested. So enough is enough. And we ask that you support our PSRPs and Chicago Teachers Union in this fight because we're not just fighting for us. We're fighting for you too. We're fighting for your child. We're fighting for your daughter. We're fighting for your son, for the better of the future. I had to fight for my child. I had to fight. So I am here standing and fighting. I, I got to put that fight for me, to, for my daughter to have that better future. I will do that. And we ask that you stand with Chicago Teachers Union. How do I follow that? <laughs> How do I follow that? Tanilla is absolutely right. Crystal Williams Hayes, recording secretary of the Chicago Teachers Union, also the daughter of a retired school clerk the mother of three beautiful girls that graduated from Chicago Public Schools, and the grandmother of an 11-year-old who attends a Chicago Public School. This fight is serious. She, as she mentioned, we are the backbone of the school. We are the clerks, we are the teacher assistants, we are the computer techs, we are the parent advocates, we are the ones who make sure that the schools are running adequately. You try and close a school without a PSRP and see how it runs. I wanna see. October the 17th, come. 
and we have not settled. I want to see administrators open the doors to the schools when you got little Johnny that's a runner running out of the building and there's no teacher assistant to help him or her catch that child. I want to see the schools open when they, when they open and they have um, little Sharika who wants to run the classroom and there's not a teacher assistant in there to help them. I want to see them try to answer the phones and greet the parents as they bring the kids in and there's not a clerk in that building. I want to see how this school is going to run without paraprofessionals in the building and teachers and no park district attendance to take the kids to because the schools have been closed due to a strike. That can all be avoided. The city of Chicago has a billion dollars set aside to compensate us for what we're asking in our contract. They have it. It's there. And we're asking for it. We're demanding that they honor our contract and what we are asking for. We are demanding it. We need our parents to stand up and support us in this fight. We need our communities to stand up and support us in this fight. We're going to win because we are what? And we are winners. We are winners. So we need you to do that. We just wanted to stop by to let you know, as Neil said, we are everything that's needed in the public schools. We are the black and brown women. If you look on this side of the room, these are women, black, brown, and Latinx women that are running these buildings. We are in these positions. We have taken a choice. A lot of them are educated, well-educated, bachelor's degrees, master's degree, but they have chosen to do the work that they're doing, to serve and be passionate about what they're doing. We want the dignity and respect. We want it written up. We want the board to put everything that they've promised us in writing. The dignity and the respect, put it in writing too. <laughs> but we deserve it. We ask you to just stand with us and support us as we fight on for, for education and the schools that our students deserve.